Frankie. Hello. Get in there. <laughs> Nothing like that first drink of the day. Go on, drink up, enjoy. <laughs> hey, what you doing, what, huh? <laughs> hey, they tell me you're some dancer. Well, how about a little dance anyway? No? When'd you get back? How are you? You all right? You know. The monkey's gone. Let me look at you. Let me look at you. Yeah. Not even a postie card. You can't read anyway. Well, you could have drawn pictures. Hey, uh, you goofy punk. How's the lost dog business? Yeah. As soon as they see me hanging around, people start locking up their mutts. I tell you, folks just don't have that trust in their fellow man anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, Yanta, look who's out. Frankie. Hey, I'm on the hat. You all right? <laughs> Clean? Yep. Good kid. Enough already. Buy me a drink. Sure. Well, look what the cat dragged in. There Frankie, honey. Well, right. You gone so oh. long, I thought maybe you was made for it. Hey, you're looking good, dealer. Put on six pounds. Wow, six pounds. He's gone so long, I thought maybe he's made warden. How was it down there, Frankie? Greatest place you ever see, Banshee. He means Lexington. I'm telling you. Ball games, great food. I even learned how to play the drums. Yeah. You make it sound as if I missed something by not going to jail years ago. It's a prison, no? More hospital kind. Let me show you something. Ah, federal pens is always best. Ask anybody. Well, I know. He's gone so long, I think he's made for it. See anything so pretty? Don't touch. Hey, how'd you sneak him out, Frankie? The guys give me him up there in a the van. They let you have a van. Yeah, I was in it. And they chipped in and bought me these when I left. Wow. Long time deal. I wasn't there bad, huh? It was all right. Six months. You can hardly wait, I bet. Come over, my boy. Oh, thanks, Louie. You broke? Now, ain't you being stupid? It's for free. I don't need it as all. I kicked it. Oh? Kicked it? One of that. I mean it. Sure. I'll be around. Frankie, don't do it. Don't start up with that peddler again. Me? I'd rather chop my arm off before I let him touch it. It's Dr. Lennox who took care of me down at the hospital. Real good guy. He told me at least ten times. He said, Frankie, when you get out of here, you take even one fix, you're hooked again. Don't worry about me, buddy boy. Let's get out of here. Thanks, Antic. Antic, take care of the sasset for me. I got a customer coming to get it. Okay, Sarah. Don't let him give you no gas. Him? I ain't gonna be around here long enough to let him bother me. I'm gonna get me a job in a big name band. You're kidding. What do you think I'm strengthening my wrist for, buddy Oh, Guy teaches me drumming down there, says that I'm a natural. Can't miss, he says. Arms made of pure gold. You mean a job wanging these drums? Got everything planned, too. I'm gonna call myself Jack Duval. Probably I ain't gonna see you around so much then, huh? Yeah, maybe I can set something up for you. Carrying the instruments or something. Wow! Traveling around the country, high-type nightclubs. 
How's that sound to you, punk? When is it gonna be? When? Right away, today. I'm the kind of guy, boy, when I move, watch my smoke. But I'm gonna need some good clothes, though. Oh, well, you go on up. I'm gonna find you some. Yeah, yeah. Size 39, get. 39. Stripes. Stripes. Something nice. for keeps. Did it hurt? How was it there for you? Oh, they treated me fine down there. There was this doctor, this Dr. Lennox. He was real good to me. Thank you. Thank you. Did you miss me? Of course I missed you, Zosh. What kind of silly question is that? Of course I missed you. <laughs> Honest, no kidding. What do you got there? You'll see. Oh, I brought you something. Oh, oh, it's an exquisite thing. You like it? I made it myself out of cigarette wrappers. Just an exquisite thing is all. You made it? Yeah, for a hobby like. You see, part of the cure is to keep yourself busy doing things you enjoy. Like, for instance, I wanted to learn to drum and music. And Dr. Lennox got him to help me do it. During the day, I was kept busy enough, but sometimes at night, I get restless. I wanted to keep my mind off the craving. I made that. But there's something important I gotta tell you. What? I forget right now. A whistle? Oh, I was scared sometimes being alone. So Ronnie got it for me. I should blow for it when I wanted it. Go on, you were telling me. Oh, well, the first thing you do when you get there, you talk to a doctor for about two hours. Oh, I know. I know what it is. I know what I had to tell you. Brian took me to this movie, and the girl's kid brother had a friend in it. Now, who do you think he looked like? Who? You. Uh, oh, it was a good movie. Stage show was real good, too. We owe by 80 cents for the movie I was broke. And we owe for the cake, too. How come you don't have any money? 
Schwicker didn't kick in regular? No. Well, he was supposed to. It was his joint they raided, not mine. I was just a dealer. I kept my mouth shut and took the rap. If he didn't send 50 a month regular, how much did he? Well, he sent 50, but not regular. You see, Vi had to kick in for me sometimes. She took good care of you? Had fun with her? Yeah. But not like when you're here. It was terrible being alone, Frankie. And my legs, when they hurt, she don't massage like you when they hurt. What do they say by the clinic, Sash? I stopped going by that goofy clinic. The clinic must know what's right, Sash. You gotta start the clinic again. You gotta get well. If I dreamed that this new doctor around the corner, he cured me. I'd have gone to him already, but he ain't free like the clinic. But now you're back making money again by Shwitka, I'll go. I'm finished with Shwitka. I don't deal for him no more. But you always deal. You're a dealer. You're the best dealer in the business. No more. I'm a drummer now. <sighs> don't make jokes, Frankie. I never know when you're making jokes. It was joking, Zosh. Listen. Nice, huh? This Dr. Lennox, I told him my whole life story. From when I was born, almost. And about you and me. But he told me that if I lived when I got out, like I lived before I went in there, chances are I would be hooked again in no time. So that's why I want to get with a band. Listen. How's that? What did you tell him about me, this doctor? I told him about getting some money and getting you well. And he said getting with a band was a good way to go at it. He even gave me the name of a guy in town right here to get a job. That's nice. I mean, if this man with a job ever heard of this great doctor, most times these things just don't come through. I got this. What is it? It's a letter from the doc. I think I'll go call him now. Now? Let's talk about it tomorrow. I'll be right up, Zosh. You ain't even tasted the cake. Well, only be a minute. I'll be right up. No, no, Frankie. First, taste a piece of nice. Hey, you coming, baby? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, John. Hey, Molly. Yeah, I'm I want to talk to Mr. Harry Lane, please. How about it, huh? Machine, Frankie Machine. Yeah, I got a letter of introduction for him from Dr. Lennox. Yeah. Hello, Frankie. Dr. Martin Lennox. How you been, Molly? All right. Come on, baby, let's go. Yeah, I'm yeah. coming, John. A guy met while you was away. Mr. Lane, I got a letter for you, yeah. Come on, what do you say, kid? It's afternoon, huh? Well, gee, I sure do appreciate it, Mr. Lane. Thank you so much. Okay, goodbye. Frankie, a new thing by Brack's department store. No sales girls. You just help yourself. It's what they call an honor system. What's the matter, Frankie? Feel that material. And I figured, as long as I'm there. <coughs> nice, huh? You all right? Frankie. I got the drum and jar. I'm ready. Wow. When I move, I move like a street punk. Think it looks all right, Sash? How come you ask me all of a sudden? I just want to know if it looks all right, Sash. And my name ain't Sash, it's Sophia. What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. Except how would you feel if your spine was hurting? Well, why don't you say so? On account of your first day back, I, 
I, I just didn't want you should worry. Don't be like that, Sash. Is it bad? Well, maybe the new doctor do me some good, huh? We'll go see him when I get back. Well, take me now, Frankie. Sash, you know, I got this appointment. You know how much it means to me. Oh. We'll go as soon as I get back. Please, Frankie. I'll hurry. I'll hurry. Frankie. Well, give me a little more massage then first, huh? Sash. I'm doing this for you to get some money so you can get a good doctor. Oh, please, Frankie. Look, I'll get your dog, too. How's that, huh? Get a dog, will you? I'll give the matter my personal attention. Just have confidence in the management. Wish me luck, Sash. Be two places at once. What could I do? Yeah, she just don't realize. Oh, shut up, punk. She just don't realize. How would you like to be nailed to a chair? Frankie, Frankie, how are you? Answer. Well, it didn't do you no harm, did it, Frankie? Oh, you look good. That's right, Schwiefka. It was a real country club. Hmm. They give you this when they let you out? Give them nothing. I borrow up my brax. You know, I come soon as I hear you out. I figured he's worried about getting his job again. Well, tell him don't worry. Sweep can don't forget so quick. Job's waiting. You need a dealer, you say? Me? No. <laughs> I've been dealing myself, and man, I built up a game like nobody's business. I got a great following. The play is bigger than ever. I hear you wasn't doing so good. From who? When I say great, I don't mean a lot. A few, but loaded. So what do you want me for? Well, like I'm telling you, I take care of my friends. Can I polish your halo, sweep? Go only a quarter. Knock it off, punk. Look, I've been doing all right, but I don't say that the customers like me better than they like you. The dealer makes the house. I know that. What do you say? No. You're dealing for some other joint. I ain't dealing for nobody. I ain't dealing for nobody no more. Is that the way you repay me? Didn't I send money to Zosh? Yeah, I've gone and told all my friends that you'll be working for me again. What am I supposed to do? As far as I'm concerned, you can go back to matching pennies with school kids. <laughs> hey, Amtec. Amtec! Who is he? Drunky? His name's Johnny something. He's houseman for Gubachek's pool room. Is that a thing with him? They see each other. You want to meet them? No. So long, Antec. See you, Frankie. Hey, you. Get in, dealer. Who, me? What for? You two punk. I didn't do nothing. Now, wait a minute, Parker. Listen, I'm on my way to get a job. It's important to me. Yes. You can pick me up some other time. I just need an hour. Be a good guy, will you? Shut up. What are you talking, Clark? Are you looking to get sued for libel or something? I could sue you right now. You're looking good, dealer. Real good. When they let you out? Monday, they let me out. What's the charge, Parker? Shoplifting by Brax. This suit. Who told you a thing like that? Little bird. Little bird with a cigar. Shrivka. That all you could stay out of trouble. Two days. Dealer, dealer. Listen, Benton, I got a chance for a job playing with a band. Honest, if you don't believe me, call the guy on the phone. He'll tell you. Well, just give me a half hour, please. Sure, you can wear my badge, too. Book him and hold the suit. Look, all I need is a half hour. Give me a break, will you? I don't make the rules, dealer. You can't hold me. I'm incapable. I ain't smart enough to be running around loose. 
But I'm too goofy to be locked up. It's a neck. Will you let go of the neck? I got a complaint. To let me. go of the neck. Hey, you. I'm talking to you. Oh, the old silent treatment, huh? All right, let's have your number, fella. I'll show you you can't give me the business. Your goose is tough, copper. Frankie, you got a cigarette? Do a cigarette trick. You know, just to break the dirty monotony. As soon as I heard. You want I should get you out, dealer? You think? The store will drop the charges. The 37 bucks a lot of dough. How do I know you'd pay me back? You think? It'd be different if you was dealing for me. If you want a deal for me, I can get you out. Dirty, lousy stool pigeon. I don't know what you mean. Just trying to do you a favor. Yes or no? Okay. Took off like a whip dog. He's scared of you, Frankie. Nobody's ever been scared of me. Them Crouch was scared of you. You was a big man in the army. Big man. I was the guy who picked the fly spots out of the black pepper. And here we go down and dirty. Better luck next time, Fred. Man with a hammer bumps the buck. Jack calls. Bucket of paint all red. Coffee. Doesn't mean a thing if you haven't got the king. Winner every hand. You bet more, you get more. Put me half, make me laugh. You still take tips, dealer? Or don't they pay so good in the music game? What happened to that big job you had lined up? You stink out the joint? It was a fresh deck. I decide when we need a fresh deck at this table. Hey, Louie, borrow me a dirty dollar. Get back in the door, lame brain. I take orders only from Frankie. Don't give me a lift, you cheap little hustler. Hustler, schmustler, I'm legit compared to some. Ain't no 14-year-old junkies waiting around to see me. You want to die? And here we go, down and dirty. Deal the next one down. Sorry. What's it a sign of when a dealer's hands begin to shake? So we could take the slap for a while, will you? All right, man, new deal. Okay, man, here we go, down dirty. Uh, ace, seven. eating at you. You shot off the mouth about kicking it for keeps. So now you're ashamed of even thinking, well, what you're thinking. Ain't that right? 
You know I don't talk about my customers, so who'll be the wiser? Why fight a dealer? For who? For what? Come over my place. What do you say? I'll be around. whistling drumming on tables and things. Oh, good, too. Ah. I mean it. They've got a natural rhythm. I was thinking maybe I'd take a stage name. Jack Duval. Jack Duval. Yeah, that's real class. It is, ain't it? That's a swell name. Just such a Frank. This guy I'm going to see tomorrow, he books all the big bands. I get in with him, boy. I wear a tux. And... You look swell in the tux. I already got the drums. I... I need a buck. Hurry up, kid, huh? I got loan. I needed somebody, and he's a poor beat guy who needs somebody, too. Everybody needs somebody. But you can do better than him. Can I, Frankie? Molly, I... I thought a lot about you while I was away. About you and me and Zosh. I would never work out between you and me as long as she was upstairs sitting in that chair. It'd be different if she didn't love me and she wasn't so helpless. You can't make a fool of somebody who loves you and, and they're so helpless. That's why I didn't come around sooner. And that's why I ain't coming around no more. You understand? Sure. Sure, I understand. You're a good girl, Molly. Real good. Frankie. Good luck with that salad tomorrow. You're not the first to come to me with a letter from Dr. Lennox. I've taken care of a lot of you people. The doc, he told me. I like doing it, understand. So don't feel that this is charity or anything like that. 
Now, uh, have you played professionally before? Only down at Lexington. I see. Well, then you wouldn't mind auditioning. I mean, I know some band leaders who might have an opening, but they'd have to be sure that you could play. Oh, sure, sure. All right, then. There's only one thing, Frankie. You see, a good many people like yourself, well, they mean well, but they're, well, they're weak. They let me down. I mean, I go to all this trouble, vouch for them, and they go back on the habit. It makes me look bad. Oh, I wouldn't. Honest. All right, I'm telling you this because, well, once a man lets me down, I'm done with him. He comes back on his knees. And don't think that some of them haven't. I wouldn't let you down, Mr. Lane. Good. I'll call you, uh, let me see, uh, a week from Friday, about noon. All right? Fine. I sure do appreciate it. Oh, forget it. Bye. Goodbye. my hair better this way or, or up swept, Frankie? Huh? Well, you can at least tell me. It ain't my fault he don't phone. What did I say? Just don't hold your breath till you hear from that guy. That's what I said. He told you no, and here it is almost 6 o'clock already, so how can you still think he'll phone? Honest, I'm surprised that you... All right. I just don't want you should eat your heart out at all. Forget the whole thing, Frankie. I bet he has. You think he's got nothing better to do than worry about you? You think he don't sleep nights on a kind of Frankie machine? I bet he don't get no rest. Ah. Yes, I came as soon as I could. Well, how you feeling, little lady? See, the doc asks how am I feeling? Ah, well, then you're feeling fine and have one to three. What is this? It happens, friends, to be an electric blood reverser and spine manipulator. It helps to reverse the blood. What's the gimmick? Gimmick? It happens, so, brother, that I am a member of the American Association of Medical Hydrology, Psychology, and Divine Healing. Where's the sucker? Mm, cold hands. Poor circulation. Eat lots of hot things. Chili, peppers, hot sauces. Pickles? Uh, not more than three a day. Now, lean forward, and we'll vibrate the vertebrae. You know how I got like I am? My spine was hurt. Oh, I can see that. The ligatitis and the vertebrae is locked together. In a car accident, it was hurt. Three years ago, May 11th. Maybe you read about it in the papers, huh? This is the car it happened in. That's me, laying there. My husband was the one driving the car, and he was drunk. Drunk, eh? He got me in this accident and smashed me up good so that I can't walk no more, dance no more, nothing. And he married me right here in the hospital chapel. Josh. Feeling a little better? Uh-huh. Much better. Guess what? I got that dog for Dutch. We spirit every crawling hair of him. That champagne. Champagne or what? Retrieving. It brings back empty. Hey, I'll show you. Come on, Beardy. Here. Get up, Beardy. He's all dog. You can make money out of him, Frankie. 
See, what he's good at is catching them squirrels in the park or shaking a dirty peanut at them, you know what I mean? Only thing he's trained to chase only one kind of squirrel. And they're getting kind of rare in Chicago on account of the climate's changing, you know what I mean? So he's just hanging around, waiting for the climate to change back a little. He's got a real fighting heart. He's dizzy, but he's still in there trying. Take the dog up his eyes. Frankie, can I go with you? No. In a minute, dear. Last time it was two. It was more than six months ago before you went away. They keep raising the price on me. They keep doing that. <laughs> I'll have to find something to take its place. Monkey is never dead, dealer. The monkey never dies. Can you kick him off? He just hides in a corner waiting his turn. Die waiting. He ain't climbing up on my back no more. Never again. I mean it. Sure. Sure. connection to call. So your own peace of mind, forget him. The doc said I could count on Mr. Lane, and the doc doesn't lie. Doc, look at me. The doc told you I'd be up and around in no time, and am I? Have you seen my sticks? See my drumsticks anywhere? You know what I'm going to get for this little dog? A little raincoat, like for when it rains. Plaid, maybe. Or maybe all yellow, huh? Where are my jumpsticks, Josh? How'd they get up here? You liked that, didn't you, Frank? Josh, I never keep them way up here. Frank, it all up, didn't you? Josh! I put them there. I stood right up, I walked right over, and I put them there, all right? No, no kidding. Maybe by when she was straightening up for me. I don't know. Stop picking on me! can't keep stoning yourself hooked up. There must be a million drummers play better than you do who can't get jobs. 
just remember that. You're going to feel better. Yeah, sure, I will. Yeah. And the noise. What's this for, Zosh? What? I just do it to kill the pastime, that's all. What about my pastime? What did you say this is for? You sit here all the time, you don't even talk to me. If we got any more beer. I'd like some. Be a bloat, Sash, when you can't exercise. Here, pick a card. Everything's no good for me. I I'm only 25, and it's like I'm a whole lady already. Is it my fault I can't exercise? You want to pick a card, or don't you want to pick a card? No, I don't want to pick a card. All I want is just a little... A little what? Oh, just a little... A little beer, a little fun, a little anything. I can't dance no more, I can't swim, or I can't even drink beer. I don't even know what kind they got anymore. What other kinds they got these days, Frankie? All right. Pretend like I ain't here. What you all the time wishing anyway that I got killed that night? I don't wish any such thing. If I don't talk, you get mad. If I say anything, you bite my head off. I don't know whether I'm coming or going anymore, Zosh. I told you, it gives me headaches. Well, I gotta practice sometimes, Zosh. The job comes along, I wanna be ready. Job, the job. Take him down to your girlfriend if you gotta practice. What? Take them down and give her the headache. You know what you're saying, Zosh? You know what you're talking about? Don't give me that innocent look. I ain't said two words to her since I come back. Because I sit here, you think I don't know what goes on? Not two words. I know plenty. Cut it out, will you, Zosh? Cut it out. Take him down to that trance if you want to make noise. Go on, take him down to her, why don't you? All right, I will. For a beer. If I had 15, I'd be all right. I've got um, six cents here. Thanks. Are. I ain't gonna stand up much longer. The heartache my old man gives me. You know what he likes to do most? Tear the dates off the calendar. Watching him. That's supposed to be my big Saturday night pleasure. Sometimes he loses all control, tears off a whole week to once, bleating like a belly goat. You know what would fill up that empty spot in your life? Yeah? A dog. Ask a satisfied customer. Frankie, that, that, that dog I got you makes a big difference in your life, don't it? Yeah, big. I'll have to bring the first baseman London to back. I want to see you. After, After the end. I'll still bet you six to five. It's a pitch uh -huh. and it's a strike. Strike one. London's getting set again. There's the pitch, London swings, and it's a high foul. Roberts is trying to get it. It may go into the stands. He's, he's going to try. It's going to be close. Roberts takes a tremendous leap, and he's How are you got it. Well, that's one away. You make out all right with the fellow at the job. Well, the German job? Yeah, fine, fine. Well, not so fine. He sort of topped out on me. He promised to call me, but... Too bad. 
There are a million zombies in the world. How do I rate? Maybe he lost your number. Ah. Happened. Maybe he's just wishing you'd be in touch. What do you think I was a pest? Should he? Good drummer that something don't turn up every day. Go on, Frankie. Come. Come on, Frankie. Come on, Molly. Watch the game, huh? Oh, I don't feel like a child. Why don't you go ahead? I'll wait for you. This is the last game here before the team leaves on its road trip. Well, I guess we're Yes, yeah, Studio B, Monday morning. Fine, thank you, Mr. Lane. Bye. Monday? I got no dish on Monday. Me? Yeah, he told me to join the union and be ready to work. Oh, that's swell, thank you. You know, he did lose my phone number. He was trying to find me all week long. Here I was ready to forget the whole thing. Gee, if you hadn't opened your mouth, I wouldn't have called him. I'll show you a. I got an audition with a big band. Me on TV. Practice a lot, Frank. Practice. I'll beat those heads to a, to a shred. Only I gotta find a place where. Zosh can't stand the noise. Molly, you suppose maybe I could put the drums in your place and sort of drop in once in a while? Why not? Molly, why not? Oh, Johnny wouldn't understand. So what could he do? I question what he could do, Frankie. Better like Johnny can't do much about anything. It's a question what it does to him. I'm all he has in the world. I don't want to hurt him. Molly, for crying out loud. Oh, you don't know, Frankie. A fellow like him... Sometimes when we're alone. What does he do, cry? He's a lush, Molly. He's a hundred percent habitual drunk. Look, everybody's habitual something. With him, it's liquor. Please, Molly. Molly, oh. It ain't just that, Frankie. I don't want us to start with each other again. Look, what you said about us not being good, it was the truth. Even before you went away, I tried to... Doesn't add up. It never did, it never can. Well, give it a chance. I told you it would one day. All my life has been one day. On and on and on. I got drums, I'm headed for a good job. Is that so on and on and on? I make some money, make Zosh well. What's so on and on and on about that? Don't shut me out, Molly. I'm trying. You want to see me? No. What do you mean, no? Bye. Here. What we owe. Frankie, bye says, can she trust me? Tell her, tell her, Frankie, what an honored hustler I am. Frankie. I guess maybe you could drop in once in a while. Thanks, Mario.
did with Perdido a little while ago. Good, huh? I hope the neighbors liked it, too. I'm very big with the neighbors. They keep banging on the pipes to let me know how much they appreciate. I won't let it go to my head, though. The key's playing drums. At 5 a.m., you'll see what goes to your head. But in a very nice way. I've been feeling good all night. I joined the musician's union today. Should we still loan you the money? Him? Who did? Nobody. I'm going to hock the drums. Oh, Frankie, no. i got to figure it out pretty good. When I get a job, I'll take an advance and get the drums out again. Meantime, I'll use a practice pad. You should have asked Vista. I haven't even seen him. He didn't go to work? I've been practicing here all night. I quit the game, Molly. It would have hurt you to wait a couple of days, Frank. I wanted to quit. I'm quitting a couple of things. Is it bad? Not too bad. Started again. Who knows why I started in the first place? I guess in the beginning you do it only for kicks. Louie gave me my first shot for nothing. I thought I could take it or leave it alone. So I took it. And I took it again and again. One day Louie wasn't around. I nearly went crazy till I found him. Oh, I was sick. I was so sick. You can't be that sick and live. That's when I knew I was hooked. There was a 40-pound monkey on my back. The only way to get along with a load like that is to keep leaning on a fix. Bobby socks is a really go for me. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll get Sparrow a job with the orchestra. Or when I can put enough money together, I can get Ross into a real good hospital so she can walk and dance again. And then maybe.
Open up. Just a minute. All right, all right. Where is he? Good morning, Miss Machine. Frankie? Frankie, where is he? What is it? What did he do? What did he do? You know what he did. He quit. No notice, no nothing. He sends word by that misfit that he's through. I had to take the slot myself. Where is he? Oh, he wasn't at the game? Would we be looking for him all over if he was at the game? He eats my bread. Six years he eats my bread. He gets put away, I send you money regular. He gets out, I give him his job. I, I, shut I, up. I, what do you mean, shut up? Shut up. You think it was easy talking fellas like Williams and Marquette up to a two-bit game like you? Louie, huh? Louie, I, I sold them on Frankie. Why are we getting excited? We saved either fat in the pocket and hungry for action. We finally get a chance to score big. And you lose the deal. <laughs> Look, Louie, I swear, I swear when Marquette and Williams come, the dealer will be there. Or a player just as good. There ain't none as good. Why didn't you offer me more money? A piece of the play. From your end or mine? What's the difference whose end? You expect me to stand here and argue about pennies? You're in. Look, I'm a musician. Well, how does it feel? Well, it feels like... You better hang on to my arm or I go up like a balloon. I'm a musician. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't know, but I want to buy you something. Ah, uh, no. I gotta spend some money or I'll bust. How about one of those in green? Ah, oh, thank you. Maybe a color TV set. They're pretty. Go on. Will you look at this production? And only for cooking? Now, who would want a thing like that? Boy, it's goofy, huh? It's pretty, huh? I wonder what he does for a living. Him? Well, he must make a nice dollar. Look the way he dresses you. Kitchen like that. I notice he don't help her none, though. I bet he never even married the girl. Look at that, she ain't even wearing a ring on her finger. She takes it off when she cooks, maybe. Then he's tired after a hard day's work. All right, so let him sit there, but at least he could talk to her once in a while. He doesn't have to sit there with his nose buried in the magazine. I would talk to her. What would you say? Oh, I'd say, how you been? How did it go today? What's for supper? Steak. Steak's for supper, and everything went fine today. Steak? Now, how about you and me stepping out tonight after we eat? Why don't we just stay home? Turn on some music. Yeah. I like that better. We'll just stay home and turn on some music. I wish it was Monday already. Hi, Doc. Oh, where you been? Fisco was here. He said you quit him. Where you been? Look. Why'd you quit him? I get a tryout on Monday, and if the band leader likes the way I play, I'm hired. Frank, why you gotta quit dealing, Frankie? How are we gonna live with no money coming in? It'll start coming in Monday. But suppose they call it a quick tryout off. You can't tell me it's a sure thing, can you? All oh, right, deal for Schwiezka like always. Forget this great job. I quit dealing, Josh. I can't take the chance, don't you understand? If the joint gets raided and I get picked up again, Mr. Lane would be through with me. And then how would I play with a band? How are you going to play if Friska gets your arms broke? Go on. Yeah, right here, he said it. And he wanted to slap me around, too. Oh, why can't it be uh. like always? of humanity. I got a right to quit if I want. Marquette and Williams are coming tomorrow. Don't you realize the significance? Leave me alone. I'll leave you alone. In the alley with the cats looking. That's enough, Shvishka. You want a deal? You don't want a deal. What are you talking about all of a sudden? Don't raise your voice to me, you slob. There's no slave. You can't force him, so what's the use? He, uh... You had the best of him all these years. Don't be a pig. He ain't interested. 
All right, all right. Marquette and Williams. Never heard of them. Money? <laughs> Something to blow your nose on. I wash my hands. The pig is on. Still, you can't blame him so much. Letting the big ones get away on account of the best dealer in the business ain't working for you no more. That ain't easy to swallow. You're the best, all right. You're a squeeze player, Louis. Been tried on you before. Ah, I'm new around here. <laughs> Are we really asking so much, dealer? One night. I'd like to be You right help up. us make a bundle. We'll spread a little of that old sunshine around. Couldn't you use a couple of hundred? Maybe two five oh? Huh? Two five oh pays a lot of doctor bills, dear. Tomorrow, huh? Frank let him make up his mind. Okay. But for one night. Win or lose, sun up, I case the deck. Sure, you're the dealer. What a load off. Now I can sleep. Take care of that arm. The character. Were you jacking up the price just now, or do you really have this music job? If they like what they hear. Chancy, huh? Nervous? So what are we waiting for? Don't talk about it. It's tough enough. I know, I know. I put down a Craven once. No. Candy, sweets. I used to be eating it all the time. Got examined for the army. They said, you got sugar in your blood, friend. You got to give up sweets forever. It's goodbye, Charlie. I had to give up candy. My gums bleed for you. It's awful. It was. That unfinished feeling you got all the time. Well, I don't have to tell you. So that. don't. I mean, you got this one thing on the mind all the time. Can't stop thinking about it. You're just a mine of information, ain't you? You know what I did? I said to myself, OK, off sweets forever. Well, forever can start tomorrow. But once in my life, I'm going to eat all the candy that I can hold. I bought $18.23 worth of candy, lugged it up to my room. All night long, I ate candy. I was sick. I was sweating. But I kept shoving it in. Ever since then, when I feel like candy, I say to myself, well, you can't complain, brother. You once had it, and had it good. You know what I mean? down there and knock him dead. It's all in the wrist and I got the touch, Molly. Look at that, steady as a rock. I'll do anything I want it to do. Keep the change, pal. Thanks. You got a cigarette, Frankie? Molly, I just want to talk to you. Will you get out of here? Stop 
Molly, Molly, please. Please, don't hurt him, will you? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You wouldn't want to lose your job. Can't you manage a car? Molly, Molly listen me to me. me. Forget to clean out the gaboon. I already cleaned it. And say please when you talk to me or I'll buy a gaboon and go into business for myself. How's that, Frankie? Nothing, huh? Well, uh... I'm reminding you, Sweetka. I get two, two and a half, maybe more. Would I go back on my word? What you mean, buddy? This is the Endless Belt and Leather Company. You want to buy an Endless Belt? Right in. We'll just start. How you been? All right, how are you? Good. I could handle the door better if I was blind. Oh, and you couldn't heat but... towels for a scared barber. You know, Sweet Oh, sure. Glad to have you. Hi. Hi. You machine? Man with the golden arm, huh? Yeah. Let's see you try and take this away. Down and dirty. No ladies allowed, you know that, boy. It's back in there. What's the matter? Get her to sleep. She and Frankie had an argument and she's almost out of her mind. Is he in there? Well, I can't call him now. Well, I just want to know when he's here. I've been bounced around Clark Street like a pool ball. He's here, he's here. I gotta get back in. Well, tell him she's worried you get a chance. Yeah. Three aces. Two pairs. Possible straight flush. Aces. Two hundred. I call it two hundred and I raise it two. I'll have a look for 400, and the house bumps you 300 more. Up to you, Ace. 
I don't know. I, I just don't know. You got three aces showing. He's got a possible straight flush to the queen showing. I tell you, he's bluffing. Think he bluffed me out of a couple tonight? You wouldn't be jerk enough to try it again, would you? Bet and find out. Well, bet, bet. I tell you, he's a bluff artist. Call. I call it, and I raise it 500 more. Sammy! I know what I'm doing. I'll have a look. The house bumps you 500 more. I told you, I told you he had it. Shut up, would you let me think? It's up to you. What's the rush I want to know? Your bet, two pairs. I heard you, I heard you. What is this, a force join or something? A man's got a right to study his hand. Bet or fold? Use your head, Sammy. I tell you, he's got it. Don't throw good money at the bad. I know what I'm doing. What'd you have? You didn't pay to find out. Nothing. Two lousy nines. You let him bluff you out of a full house with a lousy two nines. You do that again at this table and you're through. Ah, forget it, this one dealer. He paid plenty for it. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good dealer. Maybe too good. What do you mean by that? Cut the talk. Deal. Deal. Come on, get some of the smoke out of here. What do you mean, too good? The shoe fits, brother. No case on the deck, it's daylight. What? Tell him to sit down and deal. Well, we always break up around now. One more round. How about my money? Whistle that dealer back on the slot. Frankie, how about it? Nope. Just give me what's coming to me. One more hour, huh? I'll deal. You? We want to play machine. Oh, you think I can't show you a thing or two, huh? Sit down, we'll get going. How about my dough? As soon as we break. Now, give us a chance to count it at least. Go home, you'll get it later. Okay, ante up. Here we go. A hundred it is. Yeah, a hundred. Okay, here we go. What's that doing a sweep in there? We're getting murdered. You gotta take the slot. I ain't here for dealing. Look, you gotta make it stop, Louie. No deal, no fix. Well, give me my money and I'll go see somebody else. I can't else. give you any money now. The house needs every cent. You owe it to me. Take me to court. Please, Louie. You gotta make it stop. I'll take care of you. Just work a few hours. I gotta get some sleep. I gotta be fresh tomorrow. You can work a few hours. Do us a favor. I'll guarantee you'll feel like a week in the country. Please, Louie. 
Please, no. Drop dead. Please. Wait a second. Okay. Louis says you got money for him. Give me. He's waiting. Sparrow? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know he's waiting. That's why I seen this one and that one, and they all say the same thing. Tell Louis like he tells us. Not or not. Not a penny? No. Hey. How is it up there? What a game. Schwiefka's melting away like a dirty candle. The dealer's losing, huh? What's happened to that golden arm? Don't worry about the dealer. The game's just going on a day and a half. He'll come through. Why not with those educated fingers? Now you see it, now you don't. You keep your dirty mouth off the dealer. Frankie runs a clean game. There ain't nothing in the world can make him change that. Ugh. Hey, Antec. All right, all right. Six of hearts. Can you let me have a thousand? How about five hundred? Oh. I know it's oh. Sunday night. I didn't call you up to find what day it is. House check to you. Yeah, uh, hold it a minute. Yeah, hold it. Give me some of that. Oh. I gotta get out of here, Louis. I'm dead. I ain't slept in almost two days. Just a little while now. I ain't doing you any good. The house is still losing. Stay with it, dealer. The class is beginning to tell. Just stay with it. I just can't. My head won't work no more. Louis, Louis, I'm running out of guys to call. Lippy. You can't find him. I'll find him. He's loaded. I'm getting out of here. Just a little longer. When I make a call, and I'll take you over to my place. Another cent. How's it going? They're slugging us with their money. Every pot almost. They're raising and raising until we're forced out. What day is it? Can't you think of anybody we can tap for a few thousand? What day is it? Is it Monday yet? Listen to me. Are you listening to me? Why? Why? Listen to me, I said. The next big pot they try to force you out with a raisin, you gotta stay with them. Sweet, but don't let me. He keeps nudging me to fall. That's because he ain't sure you'll win. You can't be sure. There's a way you can be sure, all right. You can do anything you want with those cards. Oh, that's only for fun. I haven't got nerve to do it for real. You want to get out of here, don't you? What? You want to get to that tryout in good condition, don't you? Yeah, I want to get that feeling good. Well, yeah. then make sure. You know what I mean? Let's get on with the game. Let's get on with the game. I feel hot. No. Uh, <laughs> Okay, David. I'm in. I'm in. Three, King. Jack. King bets are for me. Call. Cool. Uh, pair of trays. King 10, Jack 7. Pair of trays. I bet 200. I call it two. House bets two. Coming up. Pair of trays, pair of kings, pair of jacks. I'm betting 500. I see. Call. Oh. Coming up. Three trays. Kings. Jacks. Three trays. Three little trays, bet 500 bucks. Fuck you! Hey, 
take off your back. No. Take them off. Second party, huh? I don't know. I don't know. I'll get to you in a sec. I don't know. This never happened to me before. Eleven years I've been running this game. Ask anybody. <clears throat> you don't fear for me no more. You want them. I wouldn't dirty my hands. How was I to know? You followed. You followed. So I was running it out of game. Settle. Settle. Frankie? Everything's all right now, Frankie. Hey. Frankie. What's a little cupping around, huh? Nothing. Am I right? You'll see. And now, from now, we'll be in antics. Just laughing about it. You should have seen Sweet Good's face. When Williams said he'd get to him in a minute, he went white. It was so funny. <laughs> Cut it out, you hear? <laughs> you was the best sport I knew my whole life. <laughs> you hear me? Stay away from me, punk. for you, ain't it? You're a graduating student. You're gonna have to step it up. Anything. But please, hurry. All right. Let's see your money. Later, later. Right now. Trust me this once, will you? No, I don't do that. I'll pay you twice as much later, but I gotta do something right now. Beat it. I'll even push for you, Louie. Hurry. A flippin' junkie always says Please, Louie, please. Please, Louie. Get your dirty hands off. Shall we let Mr. Machine sit in on this one? Number 37, it's right in front of you. You know it, Mr. Machine? Okay, let's try it. One, two, three, four. Mr. Machine, the first four bars is all you. Come on, let's try it again. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry. Are you all set? Once again. One, two, three, four.
Okay, Sally, let's go. Since when? <laughs> what? What's the angle? What are you and Frankie trying to pull? <laughs> Come on, tell me, one hustler to another, huh? Come on, let me in on it. Let me in on it or I'll queer it for you, you hear? I'll tell everybody you can walk, you always could. I'll tell them all you can walk, you're a pony! <laughs> You know, it did happen that way. While you were sleeping, Frankie shoved him over. He didn't. How do you know if you were sleeping? It wasn't that I was sleeping, more like, like dozing, kind of. I'd have heard a fight if there was one. Frankie didn't do it. He wasn't even here. When wasn't he here? When it happened. How can you be sure if you was dozing? I, I was up when he left. That's how I'm sure I saw him go. And he was home this morning. But only a second, Honest. He didn't get in a fight. He was here only a second. Why didn't he stick around? Was somebody after him? Nobody was after him. Nobody. He just wanted some money is all. What for? I don't know what for. A fix. He wanted it for a fix from Louie. It had nothing to do with Louie. How do you know? Because there was no money. Why would he want to see Louis for a fix if he didn't have no money? To try and get one without money. 
Okay, I can wait. Wherever he is, sooner or later, he's got to come out for a fix. Molly. Molly, wait, please. It's finished, Frankie, like I told you. Well, I, I got to talk to you, Molly. Please. No. Once and for all. Molly, I got to talk to you. Got any money, Molly? I need a few dollars. Ten dollars would do it. I get it back to you in a few days. Or five, even. Five would be fine. Please. I feel so sick, Molly. I, I hurt all over. I feel so bad. Don't say no. Please don't say no. Why not, Molly? Why not? Jump off a roof if you're going to kill yourself. But don't ask me to help you. I'll, I'll do anything for you, Molly, but... But right now, you got to help me. I, I need a shot. No. Five would do it, or... Or three or two even, but please hurry. You mustn't take that dirty stuff no more. I know, I know, you're right. But, and I promise. But right now I need a fix, just one fix. To help me stop hurting. And then I, I promise you, I'll kick it for good. Just a few dollars, Mark. Please. Hello, Molly. Uh, I just wanted to come say hello. Ain't you gonna let me in? I asked you please not to bother me no more. I'm, I miss you. Look, I'm awfully tired, Johnny. I'll stay only a few minutes. No. Who's in there with you? Go away, Johnny, and don't come back. Who is it? Not the dealer. You ain't hiding him, are you? You wouldn't be dumb enough to be an accessory, would you? What do you mean accessory? He killed Louie. Cops are looking for him this minute. Frankie Machine. Is he in there? No. I'm coming in. Not if you ever want to see me again. Will you meet me tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be around Antex. Maybe not tomorrow, but soon. I miss you. Tell Bedner it wasn't you. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't stand up to the cops the way I am. Look at me. I'd, I'd say anything they want me to say, just for a shot. Then get cured first. What are you talking about? How am I supposed to get cured? You did it once. That was with help and medicine and doctors. I can't go applying to Lexington with a murder hanging over my head. Couldn't you do it without going there? You mean just stop? Cold turkey? You don't understand. Pain. What else can you do? All I need is one shot. Just one. All right. You take it. Go on and take it all. Because all that you're going to need after that one shot is another. And then another, and then another. Take it. Take it. Why should you hurt like other people hurt? Yes, well, you had a dog's life with never a break. Why try to face it like most people do? No, just roll up all your pains into one big hurt and then flatten it with a fix. What do you think you'll find just outside that door? Don't you think the deadener knows what you are and what you need just to get through that next hour? Don't you know he's just waiting for you to come and get it? Let him kill you. Let him kill you. It'll be quicker and better than doing it your way. <laughs> no. No. I won't let him kill me. 
now. And I won't run into no grave. But kicking it. Look at a guy can't do it by himself. Oh, hell. You know what you're letting yourself in for. It ain't pretty. And it could be dangerous. If they find you here, then they find you is all. I don't mean dangerous from Bedner. I mean dangerous from me. Sometimes a junkie will kill to get away from the treatment. Understand? If you got any knives or scissors in the house, you gotta put them away for a while. And don't let me out of the room. No matter what I say or promise or how much I beg. Because if I get out, it'll only be to go out and find a fix. That's the way it is, you understand? Just lock me in the room. And if I try to make a break for it, stop me any way you know how. And no matter how much you see it hurting me, don't try to help me with pills or dope or anything else like that. You think you, you can handle it? Here we go. Down and dirty. You can't hold me. You're committing double jeopardy or something. Sit down. You can't hold me. You can't hold me. I ain't cut all my marbles. You know that, Captain. Write down the cases, Sparrow, and quit horsing around. I didn't do nothing. But Frankie did something, all right. And I want you to tell me about it. Whoever killed that peddler should get a ticker tape parade. Yeah, and maybe I'd lead the band, but I still want you to tell me about it. Listen to me, Sparrow. When we catch him, he stands trial. Whether you talk or whether you don't. The only question is, do I ticket you as an accessory? Bet not. Don't nail me to the cross. He's the only guy I ever had for a friend. He's nobody's friend anymore. He'd mash you with a steamroller if you got between him and a pop in the off. Come on, talk, Sparrow. Okay, feed it. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Peter out. Thought I'd come see how you've been, Sash. Oh, that's how I've been. Something to eat. Sausage. Alone and worried sick. Where is he? You know where he is? Did he go to you? What do you want, anyway? Sash, what you told Bedman. You've seen the papers. You see how bad it makes Frankie look what you said. I didn't tell Bedner anything. Papers, they twist everything all up. They wouldn't be able to if you didn't let them. I can't help what they do. What do you expect me to do, sitting here? Just tell Bedney that Frankie wasn't here when it happened, that he didn't do it. I never said he did. But that's how it sounds if he was the only one around at the time. And you know it was somebody else. What do you mean? Who? I don't know. But maybe Bedner could figure it out if he didn't think it was Frankie. What business is it of yours, anyway? I just want to help, that's all. Who are you kidding? Think I don't know what you really want? You think I don't know what you and him have been up to behind my back while I had to sit here all these years? Had to sit here all these years. Oh, no, Zashik, you got it wrong. No, you got it wrong. Because you'll never get him. He put me in this chair. And as long as I sit here, he'll never leave me. He knows he belongs to me. No, Sash, I come here only to help. I wouldn't want to live if he left me. And I'd rather see him dead, too, than have him go to Sash, you. Please. Yes, get out of here. Get out of here, you lousy tramp. Get out. Get out! I'm not going to. Are you all right, Frankie? Please answer me. Mm 
Bob. Molly, if you love me, kill me, please. Oh, I'm so cold. I'm so cold. So cold. Molly, make me warm, please. Oh, please warm me. Molly. Please, Molly, make me warm. I waited for you in Antex last night. I told you it might not be right away. Well, I, I thought maybe you were sick or something. I, I just want to tell you, don't look for me in Antex no more. He threw me out last night. We had a little argument. So make it the safari, huh? Yeah, sure, Johnny. Sure. Pretty good, huh, Molly? Just get slow now. Oh, I'm all right. Rocky. Most gorgeous day I ever saw. I think it's the first day I ever saw. I got a craving for something sweet. You got anything sweet? Sugar? Give me. like all the things inside me have settled into place. Thanks, Molly. Molly, oh. Look out, you scrape your face off. I don't care. You got a razor I can use? Can I trust you with one? Cross my heart. Need me up there. Where is he, Molly? He didn't do it. Honest. I'm not a judge. They pay me to bring him in, that's all. If you tell me where he is, I promise he'll get every break a junkie can get. He's no junkie either. That's finished. Oh, sure, you bet. You see for yourself. He ain't running away from you. So where is he? With us. All right, Molly, let's go see. What are you doing here? Frankie, don't you know Benton is looking for you? Don't worry about it, Sash. I ain't afraid. I didn't do it, you know that. Who? 
Who did that? Who? I come to tell you something, Nash. I'm leaving here. Bednar will arrest you. He told the newspapers you... What? I'm leaving. You won't have to worry about money or anything. I'll find a way to send you some regular. And Vi will take good care of you. Leaving me? Not leaving you, Zosh, just leaving. You saw what happened since I come back. Like Dr. Lennox told me, I got in the same old routine, and before I knew it, I was on it again. But you can't leave me. You, you gotta stay and take care of me. I know I'm responsible for how you are, Zosh. But I can't go around the rest of my life stoning myself to death about it. I've been carrying my heart ever since it happened. Even now, it hurts me to think about it, but... Well, it's not I want to leave. I got to leave. You mustn't leave, Frankie. You mustn't leave. Gosh. Say goodbye to me, Zash. You think you're fooling me? I know what's pulling you away. Molly. No. Yeah, you're going just as you can be with that little tramp. Frankie, no. Goodbye, Dash. No, Frankie. Please don't leave. Frankie, no. No, don't leave me. Get dressed, Sash. Thank <laughs> you. 